Oh, man, say it ain't so, y'all. Listen, man, one thing I've noticed is that when people get older and start getting into money, it's like, what did AMS say? The beta, the beta inside of you dies hard. It takes a long time. So what we're looking at right now, you guys, is apparently fresh as feeling in love, supposedly, with this, this chick, 23-year-old girl. Bro, it's just, it's just terrible look to see the fresh and fit, if this is true, if this is true. Uh, to see the Fresh and Fit podcast go down in flames like this, man. It's like, bro, 23? What the fuck? This shit just is wild to me. It's three years younger than me. How in the fuck are you guys letting these girls, like, finesse you like this? If this is true. Let's check this out, though, y'all. Let's see who this girl is. I mean, she looks pretty good. Her name's D. Milfie. Kind of a sus name. 23 female. Miami, Florida. Okay. Let's look through. Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait just a second. Wait a second. Non-smoker. Let me just say this now. I believe that this this only, um, I think Fresh set this up. I think Fresh probably planted this there. This is probably, in no way, it can't be real. I think Fresh planted this there, 100%. I think we give Past. people too much credit. Why would he set this up? Social drinker. 5'8", 22, still in college. Ooh. Look at DJ Academics uh, face. The, Why are you doing that? <laughs> very open-minded, always down to try something new and embrace new experiences. Personality <laughs> is key. See, I am a very big personality person. Personality person. He's just happy to be with a chick person. like this, man. Seeking an active lifestyle, Damn. fine dining, <laughs> luxury life. Let me just self-rip. Hey, Fresh, you better be behind this. This is genius. Well, I, I guess genius. Bro. Uh, that's... These girls is played out, man. Niggas been no fucked these chicks in high school like all day. Oh my freaking <laughs> heck. Oh shit. Fresh! Who is this nigga on my screen? Uh, one of these ones on top. <laughs> is nigga named I ain't gonna lie, he a hater. He a hater. He on he on Yeah. Yeah, 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 we on Twitch. Yeah, I wish I could put you on the official way, but like we don't have to do it like it's ghetto. Keep it real. Alright, bro. So this nigga, right, whatever me and Myron does or do, he wants to pick it and say, oh, expose. Bruh, me and Myron, I said from day one, we use trigger sites, right, to hit up girls, and we don't pay a cent, and go with them, we get it for free. So, that being said, she told me, hey, I was on Seeking, and I said, bet, I go in there anyway. These so girls ain't never free. We, it's we, never free. It's never free. I, I'm still to this day understanding, trying to understand how in the fuck Fresh and Fit got this platform like this. I really think it's because of the linking and the networking that they did. But like, there's just so much questionable shit that I've seen that podcast do, mainly on Fresh's side, I believe. I mean, Myron has got some shit too, but it's like, I understand that the older or the higher up you get, more successful you get shit like that, man. It's like people got shit to say to you. They always got something critiquing you and stuff like that. But it's like when it comes to this type of shit, I watched the DJ Academics when he was confronting Fresh and the girl at the same time. And it's like, bro, she's 23. She, what the fuck? At 23, the only girl that's going to actually like you for you. She ain't liking that, bro. Let's just be real. She ain't liking that dark, that nigga like that, bro. She, she is not loving a nigga like him. She don't. He's not a fucking athlete. Nigga look goofy. Like, bro, it's not. She's not going to love you. If, if that's what you think it is, bro, it's not. And she's 23. Zennials don't know how to love other than themselves. They only love themselves. No one else matters. And if they do, and this has been like this since the beginning of the fucking, I mean, bro, if she's going to love somebody, it's probably somebody she fell in love with in high school. Not fucking fresh at 20 fucking three. Fuck out of here. And if you think that, you're bugging, bro. You're bugging. Any, any, any gentleman above 30, you'd fucking with a fucking 22, 23, 24, 25, 26-year-old woman. And y'all only been talking for a couple months. Shit, even a fucking year. She don't love you. 
A lot of these women don't love you. You know when a chick loves you. Believe me. You will fucking know when a chick loves you. You just know it, man. She, she, bro, this shit is just crazy as fuck. Look, let, let, let's listen to Fresh try to defend this shit. Niggas, yo, you got some game? You know what you're doing? Go trigger sites, finesse the, the whole thing, because remember, it's all about being high value. And we pull six from there, easy peasy. Look, we got students in Australia, Canada, the States. You remember, bro, they, they keep posting this shit. It's all about being high value. It's all about being high value. That's just one piece of the puzzle. This is the shit that I swear Kevin Samuels shit that brought about. Women's hypergamy has become even more overt and aggressive because of platforms like Kevin Samuels and shit like that, bro. They think that they're actually doing a good thing for, for the men. And it sort of is, but I feel like it's even better for the women. Women are understanding now more than ever how to get what they want. And now they're being so much more overt with the shit. They're being overt as fuck about it. Being super overt about this shit, man. And then we got these niggas like Fresh and Fit, bro. Talk about only about being high value and shit like that. Just because you got money, just because you got status does not make you... I mean, it makes you high value superficially. But, man, you got to get the fucking attitude right. You got to understand why people move the way they move. How people move the way they move. And don't be wet behind the ears, man. This is some young nigga shit, bro. This is some... Bro... Bruh. You know, Ellen's doing this shit, bro. So it's like, bro, this nigga's trying to expose me. Like, bro, this shit's easy, dog. Like, it ain't that serious. And she already told me. So he ain't supposed to nothing. Wait, wait, all right. No, okay. There's a whole not adding what up, bro. You see that young base lord? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, I, 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 I listen. Yeah, like, yo, I, I hear you. By the way, that's, and, that's and I've listened to Myron for saying this. Plus shoddy me. Myron G, if you ask me. So, like, when, when he's waiting, I'm like, I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's a good finesse game. So I get yeah. him, you, and nigga, whoever else doing it. But what the fuck is she doing on there? Okay, so 100%, bro. I don't know what she's doing on there. That being said, hey, she might need some money. I don't look, know. Look at DJ. <laughs> the usual excuse for real girls is, oh, my friend told me about the site. I went on there. That's the usual excuse. I don't know what she's doing on there myself, personally. Wait, she's uh, still on there? No, no. I don't think she's on there still, but I mean, it is, it is I don't know. She told me this. He don't she know. Before. I don't know now. Bo. And he talk about this yeah. is the only chick he fucking with at the moment, bro. She milking the fuck out this nigga. Oh my god, bro. I will admit that part right here. There's one. If there's one thing that Cynthia G is ever right about, which ain't a lot, it's that these niggas is getting washed up by these white girls, bro. I mean, whatever. You have your preferences, whatever, man. But like, what the fuck, bro? She's just like, it's it's average white girls that motherfuckers with money, status, and clout, niggas, will throw their life away for it. This is just sad, man. It's just sad. It's fucking sad. It's sad, you know. But who am I? Who am I? These girls gonna milk you dry for what you got. Yeah, nah, nigga, everybody been sending me this video like doing. in the last three hours. They've been acting like it's breaking fucking Fresh news, Fresh nigga. Bruh, but, but you know what? Because the whole thing we said, oh, she's uh, using, using you as a gold digger. Bruh, she's been telling me everything, bro. I know. So, I know what she's on the tone before me. I know what she's doing on, on uh, you know, whatever, 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 whatever. So it's like, bro, I already know. So it's not wait, wait, hold on, on. What's she selling pussy on there? That's all I want to know, brother. Bro. These girls is using them niggas over there, bro. And apparently he called them again. Oh, man. I, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Bro, I'm, nigga, I literally, I said, you're trading? I said, nigga. Yo, it's, it, yo, yo. It's, it's like being on the Lakers and, and, and selling out the Lakers just to get. Look, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit she, she did. Okay, so is she with you? Yeah. Oh, let me talk to him. Yeah, is she with you at the club? Yeah, I'm with a bunch of girls. Oh, run for the hills. No. Okay, I'm She's washing up. Nigga. 
Nigga, give the phone to Miranda, nigga. We, we need to ask her some questions, nigga. Yo, Bro, look yeah, at this shit, number man. one. Number one. It's not whatever relationship you think you got with her. Why would you make the show look weird by you trying to be with this chick? Man, she's white! Oh, my God, bro. I don't, I don't this know. This shit wild, man. I don't know, bro. Going down, bro, going I'm, out. Nigga, I literally, I say, you're trading? I well, said, nigga. Yo, it's, it, yo, yo. It's, it's like being on the Lakers and, and, and selling out the Lakers just to get an all-star nomination. So now the Lakers not going to the playoffs. They're not going to get a championship. But you're like, oh, well, I went Man. to the all-star game. Nigga, nobody cares. <laughs> nigga, it's the Lakers. We expect them to get a championship. <laughs> <laughs> if that, bro, it ain't even in the fucking, it ain't even the MVP. She is not even in MVP status. Sell it. She ain't even in MVP status. This chick ain't even MVP status. Bro. I went to high school with girls like this. Niggas run through girls like this. Will They willingly will get ran through. And you gonna throw away your credibility? You gonna throw away all this shit? PJ Washington. That's some PJ Washington shit. Fumbled and finessed. That's fucked up. Look at what look at what somebody in the chat said. Fumbled in. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, come on. Out for that's funny because I don't really watch their podcast and I watched that specific I, episode and I watched you talk to him about her and everybody was talking, everybody was calling you wild. I was like, you don't know what they have. Yeah, I remember that. They, I remember that. At that time, niggas didn't even know they met on Seeking Arrangements, bro. So niggas was I didn't even know that was Instagram or some cool shit. Whole time they met. Bro, I didn't even care camp. what they were. I was just trying to tell my, I was just trying to tell my CEO, bro, like nigga right now, you wide open pause like you like in terms of whatever she says you're gonna go for it and i was just trying to say nigga i'm not hating on love like yo that's a part of life i was just trying to tell him i, Bro, I was trying to say love. listen that ain't no fucking you love run a fuck? platform where if i'm gonna be honest if i'm if i'm a nigga who watches fresh and fit and I'm yeah. supposed to watch them for advice, and I see this thing again finessed. I'm good. Mm -hmm. No, no, nigga, you can't no, teach me shit, bro. His you can't teach. Me. You can't teach me shit after I see you get finessed like this, bro. Bro, act, bro act. his shit literally like a vegan restaurant selling and eating chicken. You know what I mean? The vegan, like, yo, 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 vegan yo, the vegan restaurant told my yo. <laughs> told my they got spicy chicken nuggets. <laughs> Bro. Literally, that's literally what it is, bro. You gonna ruin your these things look at you like you make real vegan food the whole time. You no, you ruined the whole brand of being vegan <laughs> just for what? Oh, no. bro. Bro. Down in bed, bro. He fucking a bag up, bro. Yeah. Down in bed, bro. bro. I've been yeah. yo. Uh, I kid you not. I've been telling this nigga, bro. Yo, yo, but yo, but what, what I keep telling him is this, and this is a hundred percent. Yo, I say, bro, I know you really like her, and and and, and, and like. Bro, I use myself an example because I don't, like, let, let me tell you this. The thing with all these guru channels or whatever the fuck people be watching for relations. By the way, first of all, it's only niggas who really can't get no bitches who really, like, be subscribing to this shit. Everybody else is realistic. But okay. <laughs> like, I, I, I look at those people and I'm like, yo, listen. Check it out. When it comes to situations where you have... Uh, 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 um, those particular people, you know what I mean? Like, not fucking with, uh, actually, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. What am I saying? Boom, clean up. Man, shit, nigga. <laughs> First off, I'm gonna say, it isn't just motherfuckers out here that can't get bitches. Now, obviously, that's obviously part of the audience that watches that type of shit, even this kind of shit. But it's also just men coming to a locker room space man where men can talk about men talk about real shit bro we can talk about women and talk about how the fuck we move in this world and it's like when you see some shit like this especially on the highest platform like that bro this just it's just sad seeing motherfuckers go out like this bro we don't want to want to see that shit bro get that shit out of here man you gonna get finesse out the fucking bag 
Bro, let me go back to the scene in the damn broadcast that we're watching right now. They pointing out the way that she was looking at the nigga, bro. Look at look at this shit, man. This shit is just this shit. This shit is just ridiculous, bro. Look at this shit, man. Look at this shit. We had like meet for a while though. Yeah, so we we met on there. We definitely uh spoke, and then like our Instagram, and that was it for like a couple months. Yeah. And we, we, we... Bro, she let she letting him fuck because he got the bag. That's not that hard. Sex feels good. Sex feels great. Especially for girls, bro. And if you get money out of that shit, if he's not too bad looking, like, of course she gonna swallow the fucking pride and shit. This this ain't it. This ain't it. Can't just fuck with a regular girl. Fresh is just embarrassing himself. Man. Bro. Bro. Boom. Look at, look at that. <laughs> Yo, maybe I'm lit. I think I'm lit. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, that lick I was drinking, nigga, I am lit. I'll be honest with y'all. But I don't think this shit right here, I don't think I'm seeing this shit. Bro, them girls are around because of the clout. RIP. What's going on? On the stream? You said RIP. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah, boom. Tell me if I'm too lit. I think I'm too lit. Yeah, you you definitely too lit. I'm, I'm definitely to... too lit. But, right, but, 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 you, but what am I watching? Like, not anymore. Hold on. If, am I bad judging a character? Like, is she in it for him? Bro, look at look at her. Look how she, bro. Look how she looking at this nigga, bro. Look how she looking at this nigga at the end of the video. Look at this. Like, look at her staring. She's at swallowing this. her pride, her bro. Soul, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with Fresh though. Like Fresh reached out to me. I fuck with Fresh, but come on, brother. My brother. <laughs> she like <laughs> get out. I'm the about movie. to take you for as much as I can. Look how she look at him, bro. I don't want you to. Like, <laughs> like, like, you like, side, like yo, that, you bro. think he can get out? She she look like she yeah. hates she got in. him getting inside nigga, her. Nigga. <laughs> nigga, nigga, I'm about to call him right now. I'm about to call him right now. He's my guy. No. He's my guy. No, they, they, this has to be. Bro, y'all got to learn this shit, man. I hope y'all have learned from this shit. Bro, bro. bro they just they just friends, bro. Yeah, man. I, I, I hope, I hope y'all y'all learn from this shit, bro. Pay attention to this shit, bro. These these gurus, gurus out here, bro. And I don't even, I don't proclaim to be no fucking guru of any kind, bro. I'm just, I'm just a motherfucker out here that's observing shit. Right, I'd have been through some shit, and I'll say some shit. And I'm not afraid to put my face out there on some shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm never going to sit here and claim to be the best individual of game and shit like that. I know I got flaws. I know I... But, bro, we've all been into this position. And, I, bro, I, 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 I can tell these girls ain't shit. Nigga, 23? Hell no! No! How old is Fresh? How old is this nigga? How old is he? He's got to be in his 30s. He's got to be in his mid-30s. Because he act like he wet behind the ears, man. I done grew up around these girls, bro. Hey, bro, come on, man. Come on. The thing is, guys want to believe in love so much, man. Guys are the most romantic. They're the romantic spe out of the species. Not to say that there aren't women out there that don't want romance and think about this shit. There are absolutely some women like that. I've met, I've met women like that. But I'm here to tell you the vast majority of men are more inclined to want to believe this one, the itis shit. And even when all the red signs and people in front of you are telling you, no, 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 there's this idea of a man being chivalrous. And they want to they wanna stand on their word and, and, and be the fucking white knight until that shit turns out to be a fucking Maleficent, take you for all your fucking money, and then you left dry looking like a fucking fool bamboozled but he gonna be all right he gonna be all right man you know why he who has he who has will have more it is in the bible romans 18 or something like that he who already has will have more so yep so i gotta say about that y'all